Parenting Pulse time on Halton News, and that means we're joined by author and parenting pundit Julie Cole. And Julie, we are into the last little bit of August. September's right around the corner, and you as a parent of six are uh, excited about this back-to-school situation. I am very excited. And, you know, is it even the end of August if we are not talking about back to school? Parents are obsessed right now. But there are a bunch of things that I think we need to be doing right now before we go back to school. Um, and that is get organized. So when I say get organized, I mean, right off the bat, you know, you've got a little bit of time left. Have you done those dentist appointments? Have you done the doctor checkups? Have you done the eye exams? You want to do those things now so that you don't have to take time out of school later to do them. Also, when I say get organized, I mean inventory. What have you got? Have you ordered new school uni uniforms? Does anything still fit? Are the shoes the same size? What about your school supplies? Can you reuse some of those pencil crayons? Do they just need to sharpen? How's the backpack? Is it in pretty good shape? So check out your inventory. See what you can hand down maybe from one kid to another. That's my favorite thing to do, of <laughs> course. <laughs> Be sure not to overspend when you're back to school shopping. You know, you, you will get the list from the teacher, stick to the supply list. Don't go rogue. Just get what's on there. And you don't have to necessarily have everything at once. We see parents spending a lot, a lot of money at back to school. And then, you know, would I be the co-founder of Mabel's Labels if I didn't say, label this stuff. For goodness sakes, you put out a lot of money. You don't want your things ending up in the lost and found. And actually now in this climate as well, you don't want those germy mix-ups. You don't want mm. somebody sipping out of a water bottle, right? In these kind of COVID-y, just post covid -y times. We want to we wanna make sure that we're safe. So that's it for organization. I think also you want to uh, now check in on sleep schedules. You know, the old summer slide happens where the kids are staying up crazy late and then sleeping until noon. Let's go get those adjusted now. Push it back by 15 minutes every night before the first day of school. If you have little ones going to school, make sure you're practicing lunches now. Make sure that they can open the little bento box. They can independently, you know, open the, all the little containers because snack time goes quickly, lunchtime goes quickly, and you and you want your child to be as independent as possible so that they don't run, of run out of time at snack time. So there we have it. Um, our back to school organization, the kids are going to feel nervous excited, as my kids say, nervous and excited, but remind them that you have confidence in them, they can do this, and then you can do your happy dance once you send them off on that first day. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the parents are going to be doing a happy dance. So, you know, when, when you do remind them about that, that uh, they're going to be having a good time, there are some kids who are not looking forward to going back at all. And especially, you know, the past two years has been really rough for students and for everyone to get back into the flow of things. This year is going to be a clean start. It uh, is. So how do you approach that as a parent was saying like, okay, everyone, um, it's normal again. I know, I know it is a really different year this time, Jason, a really different year for kids. And I think you're right. There are going to be kids who, whose nerves are going to um, kind of peak a little bit. I think it's important as parents that we remind our kids, you know what? I have confidence in you. You can do this. We don't let them see us sweat. We normalize it. We remind them that it's okay to be nervous on that first day of school. And everybody does. There's amazing, great books out there about starting the first day of school. You might want to go visit the playground or go visit the school this week and just have a little look around to try and familiarize your child with it. So just all those things. And on that first day, if you have an anxious kid and they're kind of clingy or it's a kindergarten kiddo who's crying, do a quick drop off and get the heck out of there. <laughs> All right, Julie, listen, that's great advice. Now, next week, we're going to talk about that drop off and the relationship that you can build as a parent with your child's teacher. So we'll see you back here next week. Sounds great.